What's up, everybody? It's Jack Asian doing a deck profile of my Harpy uh, Rabbit deck uh, post ban list since you know Rescue Rabbit and Tour Guy got hit, so I had to change the deck around a little bit. So, um, just to get started, obviously, uh, we have our staple Harpy Lady. I don't run Cyber Harpy because she's not a vanilla, so she's not easy to pull off with a Rescue Rabbit. So. And the other ones also aren't vanilla, they're effect ones, so useless, and I hate hate Harpy Lady Sisters. Just because you go all that work just to 1950 her, what's the point? So, I run the vanilla one just for Rescue Rabbit fodder. And then the other, res well not fodder, but Rescue Rabbit target. The other Rescue Rabbit target, as if you've seen the other uh, builds, is Sonic Duck. I would run Harpy... Uh, Harpy's brother, except for the fact that sometimes I do want a three target. So, um, for right now, my favorite three target will be Sonic Duck, and since it's a 17 bit stick of a three, I kind of like it the way it is, so I'll stick with the Sonic Duck. Next, obviously, obviously since we're running Vanillas, Rescue Rabbit's kind of a Necessity limited to two, which I only play two. Playing it at three before the ban list would have been all right, but two is really all you need. All right, and the next card I play is a uh, Harpy Queen. I play uh, three of her. Basically, she's like Commandant. She searches the field card. She searches for the field card. Uh, Harpy's hunting ground, and if you don't want to search for the uh, field card, or if you already have the field card, you can just play her. 1900 attack, really good. No, like, no qualms there. All right. In keeping with the wing beast of what I'm running, next I run. Um, let's see. Gale, black wing. Gale the whirlwind, just because it's a uh, tuner and Gale, since it's kind of underrated, I believe. The half the attack and defense, so it could be useful mid to late duel as well. And just to summon him, just to be able to summon him sometimes, I do play Zephyros. Zephyros has its usages, such as if something gets effect failure when I need it. Uh, Zephyros, if it's in the graveyard, I can bounce it back to my hand so I can use it later, such as Tor Guy. Right. Next, since I won't run Winds and Dark, I run probably a very another uh, underrated card, Dark Samorg. Whoops. I could spell properly. Darm. Dark some more. Uh, I usually run two, but for this format, I run three. Just because um, the simple fact that it prevents your opponents from setting. And since this bon this ban list is a lot slower than previous ban lists, some more stopping your opponent setting up can either force them to uh, make plays that they don't want to play, or they'll just give up and they can't do anything else. So playing three some more this format. I'm gonna like it a lot and see what opponents can do. Alright. Just to help get darks in the graveyard, I also play DD Crow. I had these side, but considering how most things work, other than when I'm playing Gravekeepers, I'll side these out, but I main two now. Just because of how a lot of things can be graveyard based or monster reborn, such as uh Windups and well, from what I've seen, heroes as well. Since those two seems to pop up a lot, DD Crow can be useful. All right, and then for tech, I also run effect Valors. Main three of these, just for tech to uh, slow down my opponent a lot, because some more can prevent like your opponents from setting traps and certain spell cards like book. But you can't get through. Uh, you can't really stop monster effects with this deck. So effect failure is the only backup I have for the moment. And then semi staple, but not as necessary now. But I still played anyway. Two tour guides. No knight of silence. No sangins. No tour bus. Just two tour guides because there's already a lot filled in this deck, and all I need tour guide to do is limit. It's just search for tour guide by itself. So don't have to worry about. Top deck into a Sangin, a Bus, or a Knight of Salem because I'm trying to stay proactive with this deck. Next, since I'm running Effect Veilers and um, Dark Targets, I also run uh, BLS. 
So yeah, I'll run one of these suckers. Obviously, only one. Uh, and then also run Gores. Do not know why yet since I have a field card, but Gores does happen to come up a lot lately in this deck. People do try to get rid of uh, the Proving Ground, so I don't pop back row that easily. Um, my take is Gores. Uh, normally, considering you're playing Lights and Darks, and we'll go into the extra deck in a minute, but you can trade, trade Gores out for a Chaos Sorcerer. If you prefer, it's just a Chaos Summon. I have two Chaos Summons instead of having a Gores and a BLS because it's kind of random to have either one, but it's just my personal, personal preference. Alright, there's the monster lineup. Now to go to the spells, uh, harpies, oops, oh well, uh, harpies proving ground. Run three of these just so, like, the whole harpy ladies when summon or when normal or special summon pop a back row or a spell a trap card and boost all wing beasts by 200 attack. So some more can be 29, really effective. You just can't get really, really over BLS, but, you know. Not many decks can effectively other than heroes with shinies and whatnot. So mainly some more beat sticking with uh, preventing uh, your opponent to set's pretty nice. 29 attacks pretty nice. And the whole popping back row. So it's mainly a back row hate deck. This. Alright, next, play some staples. Monster Reborn, obviously. Kind of necessary. Then. Dark Hole, then uh, Heavy Storm, Book of Moon, then Mystical Space Typhoon. Uh, I was going to make three of these, but considering I'm already hating back row with the summoning and whatnot in Proving Ground, and if not, I'm just going to be baiting out my opponent anyway. So I only need two MSTs. Alright, and then for tech for this deck, or uh, cards I like to use for this deck, Foolish Burial. If I ever need to uh, have a Samoric being summoned, if I only have one Dark or one Wind and I need the other one out, or for BLS, or if like I have, um, I need to send Zephyros to the Grave Special Summon him, then Gale. And then, yeah, there's just tons of stuff that can help me out with Foolish Bear also. Just run that just to help combo or get my get what I need started and whatnot. Alright. That's for the spell lineups for the traps. Sound Trio. Really, for the speed of this deck, the effectiveness of all these three. Really useful. And then, Torrential Tribute. Run two of these suckers. Alright, going on to side deck. This card is just my personal tech. It's, you don't have to run it, obviously, but I like this card a lot. And it's just the fact that it's another underrated card. Elector Sovereign of Birds. If your opponent's controls too, I'll let you read that right there. I'm pretty sure you guys can read. But it's basically kind of negates your opponent's of one, uh, effects for that turn. And it's an easy special summon if they have two of the same monsters on the field. So if they just happen to have like I don't know, two spell casters, two dinos, two heap like two warriors on the field, just special summon that, negate an effect, and to just attack over. It's just another special summoning out. I only run one of those. Next, I run cyber dragons, just because you know, grand soils, along with the uh, gigias and or machinas and or karkuris since that's going to be kind of, I believe, big later on in the format. This is going to be my answer to them, obviously. I prefer this over System Down because it's a light target for BLS, and if I do decide to trade Gores out for a Chaos Sorcerer, then all the more reason to. So, one si two Cyber Dragons. Next, Maxi. Two of these. Um, I was thinking about taking Maxis out considering how the meta slung down, but... I don't know, just for backup in case I really need to speed up uh, and get try to get Gores to my hand or something else to my hand, like a DD Curl or Effect Veiler, then it could be effective. Next, uh, I side in the third Mystical Space Typhoon. And then the rest are all traps. They're just, whoops, bottomless trap holes. So run two of those. 
semi effective compulsory two of these suckers and then dimensional prison and then decrees All right and since the cyber dragons are only on side so is the fusion for it I can spell it Chimera Tech. I would only put on the side anyway I would not put in the main just because it's not a necessity so yeah put it right there now for the extra deck just to start off with synchros simple stuff I think Catastrophe is probably my only old school one I would play and then Armory Arm play one of you suckers easy to sum with like a 3 and effect failure or Gale on the level 1 DD Crow can happen probably not next let's see Blackwing Armed Wing level 6 Blackwing Synchro with Gale and level 3 or Armor Master does a lot of good stuff Armor Master does and then see I would say level 6 but I don't or level 7 but normally I don't go level 7 go level 8 synchro and when I do I just decide to do red dragon archfiend I don't see the point of doing anything else just mainly for beat sticking and it's a dark target not a pop, there's not a good synchro light level 8 that I would want to run so yeah red dragon will have to do it alright to exceeds Olivier Rent two of you. Don't know really why. Oh yeah, I do know why because of the Samorg summonings, and I can bring back monsters I banished for the Samorg and the BLS summonings. And if Chaos, if I play Chaos Sorcery, then yeah, Livia is pretty nice. Next, Leviathan. I uh, run one of these just because Beat Stick Power, and it's, it's water, so I don't really want to go into it. Only I need to attack over. Uh. Giga Brilliant. I run one of these just because it's a level 3 light. So if I can help set up for BLS, then Giga Brilliant will always be an option. Acid Golem, ever in the case I need to beat stick over something, and all I can do level 3 for my. And then Zen Mayonnaise. Which, yeah, I'm so happy they're getting reprinted. Just just had two secrets a long time ago and got rid of them for pretty high so uh... profit much alright next utopias I'll play two of these uh... like i said another light target for bls if i have that and that go into that and i also have a dark setup normally because of i don't know i just happen to and then <laughs> and then the real one i go for is roach that's the one I usually go level 4 so I can set up for some more fairly simple because people will like to destroy Roach because you know they can and they want that card to be destroyed to prevent stuff or another and then then my random card I pick I don't know why Oops, a big eye since I can level 7 with some Morgan Gores I play one big eye in them extra and sometimes big eye has helped and sometimes I wish it was something else I wish it was like another level 3 level 4 but big eye does fill in the slot for level 7s when I do get the chance and do need it if they ever pull a fast one on me but like shining or not keep shining on my side of the field and then makes them question things they need to do or app zero or stuff like that so yeah there is my deck um, any questions or anything com uh, com leave a comment uh, below uh, tell me what you think. This is post ban list. Uh, everything, it's not a perfect deck, like I said, but it's def if you play it like this and if you kind of wait it out for stuff you need to, like, I don't know, go at your opponent full force, then this deck can take a hit or two, like for one or two turns, and then go full force third attack, third turn or whatever. But if anything, I would say change Gores into a Chaos Sorcerer at your own preference. There's a lot of cards in here that I probably shouldn't run, like a third to Samorg or DD Crow's main, but it's just to help speed up the deck. 
I had Shrag in here, but considering that I'm using Queen and some Morgan Veilers and DD Crows, and it's going to lower my hand advantage, so the only hand monster I do run to special summon is uh, Gorse. And it's really effective. Gorse always helps because of the low, decently low trap lineup, and if these normally wanting to get destroyed some way or another. Alright, there's my Harpy Post Banlist version 3 deck.